This video shows a frameless uh, window under universal windows apps. That's the right uh, window, what we see there. And then a uh, frame, frameless window under uh, WPF. And the point is, uh, and, and I'll show you how this works. And also additionally, there's a transparency overlay. And what you see there on uh, WPF, we have the transparency which goes uh, straight through. And on, um, on WPF, uh, on universal windows, uh, the transparency of a window is only limited to, to the uh, based uh, Windows page or to the Windows app, Universal Windows platform app. So, uh, but uh, at least it's possible to get um, to get a frameless window. Uh, and at the moment, it's uh, there's the transparency uh, to the background not given, um, bec uh, but the same stuff is given on the. Uh, on the WPF application. So, but this um, uh, works a little bit different. So I show you both <coughs> uh, what we have here and you will see the code there. Uh, first, I show you on the Universal Windows uh, app. On the Universal Windows app, you have to do the following stuff. <coughs> uh, I have set on my site here <coughs> Let's see here. That's my Windows page, uh, or the main page, XAML. And there uh, I have set the, uh, for example, the background to black so that I will see if the window is not really filled. And the uh, implemented elements in there, and in this case, it's an um, a image and the image uh, was is stretched uniform uniform to fill and vertical alignment uh, or both stretch so this means the control inside goes to the maximum size to uh, until the border uh, uh, to the borders and um, the image which is inside the uh, the control will be stretched to maximum so that's why we see uh, the stuff on on the top uh, you may set here on the uh, here that's the page and that's inside the window or the page there is a, the first element uh, is a grid <coughs> in this case and this grid uh, I've taken the in here black as a background so that I would see if it doesn't work and if you take here um, on the page uh, background to red or something, then you will see the same. But that now, since this one is always filled uh, up to there, uh, you can't see that. Um, and what you have to do there is, uh, on the first moment, <coughs> if you do nothing, if you just do this and, uh, and nothing else, then you will get the following stuff. You will get this this one where um, no, that's not okay now. Default stuff. Um, the current view was all is already changed. Uh, <coughs> what you uh, to reach that point, you have to uh, take this one. We have to go into the application and inside the application uh, we have here uh, we will set the um, the application view that's the current view which is running there you may use the namespace windows ui view management application view get the current view and here get the title bar and inside the title bar we will say okay uh, take the background color to transparent and also this one to transparent transparent and um, we will extend the um, the the application which is inside there which is normally limited on there uh, we will extend it to the title bar what we see in the design view is always only 
the uh, the page itself and above there is normally the title bar with those buttons and uh, they they are not visible in here but they are they exist there and we have to set it um, <coughs> here in our application app channel CS when the system runs or when launches then uh, there will be finally the window current activates so before this activates we need the we, we need to say uh, take all this stuff inside there and uh, loop it uh, to the to the upper to the uh, up to the title bar and when it's once once it's there we also have to say okay the title bar buttons and the background color should be transparent and then uh, the the control will uh, go on there so that's why we don't see this and that's why also the, those buttons are uh, not visible and uh, they're only visible when I move uh, when I hover my stuff on there and uh, what I am missing on this point is that we that in WPF we had a beautiful feature uh, but it's not given at, uh, at when you ask Microsoft therefore then they will say uh, you may uh, may uh, s quote on the on the hub uh, to uh, to improve that uh, to embed this uh, function but this is now one year ago or two years ago and they they don't move I think it's uh, quite annoying because Microsoft always says we heard you uh, that's bullshit okay uh, on WPF that's what we have here uh, that's the same stuff, uh, similar stuff, and we have here the window style none and the background to t transparent and there is the allow transparency to true and as you as soon you set it here on uh, on the window then uh, the system has no title bar anymore so you have to uh, you have to take your those buttons you have to create uh, a maximize button and a close button by yourself uh, but the the main point is that when you set this one to trans the background to transparent then the windows the window uh, views through the uh, it gets transparent through down to the uh, background um, but you shouldn't think that you may, uh, for example, um, take some screenshots and this uh, re rendering the uh, all that stuff with the transparency. Uh, that's not possible. So when you uh, render this one, I think that's that you have um, like something like a, a screen capturing, and you try to get the background, the transparent background, and this doesn't work. You all will only get this one, and uh, the behind this one, uh, the, the that's the background. There you will get the uh, the color, which is given by the background. So this is always it's transparent in here but if if there's nothing then the app says okay it's black or white something like this so that's the difference on WPF applications and to get this one transparent and the same is on uh, the universal app there you have this you have to set the title bar uh, into invisible and to, you have to extend here uh, to uh, embedded Im um, stuff to the maximum. And you will, you will find my code, that code on my website here on code documents. And I set a link there on my, uh, on below this video.